Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Bivert mod on the Game Boy Pocket. For those of you who don't know what a Bivert mod is, it basically flips the pixels so that the ones that were on uh, become off and the ones that were off become uh, sort of on. Um, and then you turn the polarizing filter, you get increased contrast, uh, the screen looks a lot better. Some people say there's less ghosting, but I don't know how true that is. Uh, but generally speaking, it looks a lot better. And uh, you typically do this mod with a backlight um, mod. So here is a Game Boy Pocket uh, with a backlight mod. Um, and as you can see there, the screen is incredibly dim. Hopefully, what we're going to do at the end of this is... Uh, fix that problem. So big thank you to Handheld Legend who sent me um, a Biver mod for the Game Boy Pocket. Uh, specifically, thank you to Dustin for sorting this out for me. Um, but if we go ahead and open this package, there we go. So Handheld Legend is a website, um, I think it's based in America, but I pretty certainly have worldwide shipping, um, which sells and stocks Game Boy mods and modded parts and probably more than just Game Boy mods as well. But uh, yeah, here it is. Here is the bag. They've actually got Handheld Legend on their bag. So here is the tiny little Bivert chip. And you wouldn't believe how big of a difference this little thing is going to make. It also costs, I think, under $5. I believe it's $3.99. Um, absolutely absurd. Uh, so it is very, very small. Um, and I'm quite nervous because there's some pins and soldering involved. Um, but we're going to just have a go, see how it goes, and uh, yeah, just crack on. Enjoy the video. So we're going to need to get access to the PCB. At this point, I probably don't need to tell you how to take apart a Game Boy, but just go ahead and get everything off and lay the PCB down in front of you. Now, I actually did this wrong the first time round, but I'm going to show you what I did anyway to make sure that you don't do the same thing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set that Bivert chip down. The top two pads need to line up with the fifth and sixth pins of the ribbon connector and the bottom two need to line up with the fourth and fifth pins of the chip. Then start to bridge the pads to the pins on the connectors. Be careful not to actually bridge the two pins. I then spent the next 20 minutes trying to remove that blob of solder and went back at it again and successfully managed to bridge those contacts. The Bivert chip takes power from the C12 resistor and after soldering all of that together, you're done. I went ahead and reassembled the Game Boy, ensuring to flip that polarizer film round to the slightly darker orientation, gave it a quick clean, buttoned it back up, popped some batteries in, and where has my display gone, what's going wrong? So I usually do do a little bit of research, but in this instance I didn't do anything at all and just completely guessed what I was doing. I managed to completely forget to cut the traces, <laughs> uh, basically I just didn't do anything. In fact, if anything I made the entire thing completely worse by the fact that it didn't work. Make sure to cut those traces very carefully, not to slip and cut something else. Check with continuity that you have actually cut the traces. And then I went back at it again and managed to re-solder everything. This time I did it a lot neater because I knew what I was doing and it only took me three minutes to do this entire process. I checked for continuity between the pins and the pads. A little bit of deja vu. Put the batteries back in and this time when I turned it on I could see that beautiful sweet pixelated screen. Oh, hello. Definitely not sponsored by Pepsi Max. I just had my hat back and I thought, I better be cool, you know? Um, <laughs> right, so basically, uh, I've now finished the Bivert mod installation and I am super, super happy with the results. The Nintendo logo um, immediately just shows you how much more contrast we now have. If I turn this on and hopefully do a side-by-side -side between the two, you'll be able to see just how black the pixels now are. And it's absolutely brilliant. Um, honestly, the clarity on the screen now is exceptional. Ignore the, uh, the black bar along the bottom there. Um, that's actually this because this is an old um, backlight. I think this is the first backlight mod I ever did. I mean, it does work 
very, very well. Um, there was obviously that problem, um, which I didn't really realize. There was no instructions um, in the packet. However, I'm almost certain there is gonna be some instructions on the website. Bivoting a Game Boy Pocket, in my opinion, has never been necessary, really. Uh, the, the difference isn't huge. I think now it's definitely worth um, thinking about. Uh, it's not necessarily been a price thing that's been a problem because this chip is no more expensive really than the uh, the DMG Bivert chips. Um, but for two ninety nine and you know twenty minutes of work, if you if you actually remember to cut the traces the first time round, um, it's not too difficult. I don't think this is the mod for the first time modder um, because it's a very very fiddly little thing to do. Um, however, the results speak for themselves, and uh, if you have got a little bit of practice with modding a Game Boy like I do, uh, then it should be simple enough. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Is it better? Is it not? And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.